I've got a great video in store for you guys today because we're going to add not one, but two new statues by Inesco to the collection. So stick around and I'll show you which ones we're going to add. Hey there everyone, my name's Perry and welcome to The Potter Addict. Well, we are back again to add some more pieces to this collection, the ever-growing, ever-expanding collection, and um, I am super excited to add both of these to the collection just because Inesco does some amazing statues. And I have wanted to add Remus Lupin for quite some time, and honestly, I don't have any full-sized or full-scale... Well, not full scale, but I don't have any complete um, figures of Dobby in my collection either. So it's nice to add him, get a little Lucius in there as well. So I think to start off, maybe we'll go with, let's go with Lucius and Dobby. Um, kind of interested to see this one. Now, I purchased both of these off of Amazon and got really good deals. So if you guys are looking to add to your collection, check these out on Amazon because it is for sure the cheapest place that I found them anywhere else. And looks like we'll go, oh, I'm going to make a mess with some styrofoam, so bear with me here for just one second. Now I will tell you, the weird thing about these is when they were shipped, Again, purchased through Amazon. Um, they um, they shipped them in a gigantic box. I mean, a huge box together. And the box was massive. And inside they had just a little bit of paper stuffing. So these two were kind of banging around and, and, and everything, which I thought was a little odd. I mean, Amazon usually does a pretty good job of packing things up. But um, it didn't appear that the packaging was damaged. But at the same time, um, if you recall, I also purchased um, Snape through Amazon, and that package wasn't damaged, but Snape was ruined. Um, I had to send away and get a replacement Snape for, um, you know, for that one. So thankfully, again, like I said, I, um, it was through Amazon, so returns through Amazon are always very, very easy. Um, and replacements are just as easy as long as it wasn't the last one that was available, which is always a risk when you're talking about Harry Potter collectibles. So my packaging is not cooperating at all. So bear with me here, guys. I'm trying not to destroy whatever's inside, but at the same time, get this open. There, I think I finally got it. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, and we've got, oh, looks like I've got the wrong side. Try this over here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and it looks to be intact so far. So let's pull this one out. Super eager to see this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, that looks fantastic. Let's get the styrofoam out of here. Oh, my favorite thing in the entire world. And there's still so much on him there we go and then there is it seems to be another piece here which is oh yeah this is his his uh, cane that goes with his wand and i believe that that's just going to slide right on into his hand like that oh that looks amazing that looks amazing okay so let's get rid of this all right and some of this styrofoam shrapnel here and let's take a look at Lucius Malfoy and Dobby. Now, one of the things that I have said a million times over is that I absolutely love the bases that they put these guys on. And I think that this base is great because it adds another tier. You know, you've got the, um, the tiling that it's standing on, but then it's cut out of you know, the, the ground below it. And I absolutely love that. I think it's a great feature. And then you've got Lucius Malfoy standing there, um, holding his wand, looking extremely pompous, uh, hair flowing backwards. And uh, I mean, he's got on his elaborate dark cloak and his, uh, and his ornate kind of button down uh, shirt. Uh, holding his, his wand and his cane in the other hand with Dobby looking just kind of frail and meek standing next to him, pretty much waiting to be kicked or slapped 
or hit with something. So, but I think that this is an amazing statue, you guys. I I don't know. I will be honest. This one I added because of the fact that it was such a good deal. Um, I added it to the collection. It wasn't one that I was going to pick up. Um, uh, originally, I was, I was going to eventually add it to the collection, but it wasn't high on my list. Um, but I am very glad that I added this to the collection because the detail, I mean, the, the snake head on his wand, I mean, the details that they just add to these things are absolutely stunning. And I often will stare at these and look at the detail and just wonder how. How you can get such amazing tiny little details into each one of these. I mean, it's it's breathtaking, guys. It really is. And Inesco does an amazing job. Um, something I wasn't aware of. And, I mean, it seems like I find out something new all the time, uh, especially as a collector, right? When you're looking at pieces and trying to add new items to your collection. Um, but... I love Inesco, I've always said that, but I also didn't realize that Inesco uh, does Department 56, which is another brand that I absolutely love. All the buildings, you know, the structures, uh, you know, Hogwarts Castle, all the Hogsmeade and, and Diagon Alley buildings, those are done by Inesco as well, just under the, the name of Department 56, So, which would explain why I love them so much. So, um, but... These uh, were my first introduction to Inesco. Absolutely love them, and I will be working to slowly but surely collect the uh, the whole set of these. I have got, again, Remus Lupin, and then I got two more. I got, um, oh, what were the other two I got? I got, oh, Tom Riddle, which is a great one, and that video will be coming soon. Uh, I absolutely love the Tom Riddle one because it's got I Am Lord Voldemort, that's a little extension piece, that so it looks like he's writing it in the air. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And then I picked up uh, Harry... Um, riding his broom as he's being chased by the um, by the bludger in the uh, you know through the stands uh, in that scene, absolutely love that one. I got that one brand new from Anesco through eBay for for eighteen dollars, eighteen dollars including shipping. You guys, if you don't have that one as part of your collection, eighteen dollars. I mean, that is an absolute steal. You can't, I mean, I don't even know how they can make something like this for $18. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. So if you don't have that one in your collection, head over to eBay right now. <laughs> Look for that one through Inesco because it is amazing that you can get it for $18. I have added them as a favorite seller, and I'm hoping that maybe they'll break another one loose eventually for that kind of a deal because that's amazing. So uh, enough with that. Let's, I mean, I cannot shake this styrofoam, but let's dive into, and I'm going to make a little bit more room here just so I don't bump him off. I'll make a room for Remus Lupin. Now, unlike my favorite, which we all know is Gentle Giant, these are not a, um, a limited quantity item. So I, I absolutely love my, my Gentle Giant, but they're so hard to track down, which, I mean, I, I get, you know, I mean, it's better that they're in limited quantity, right? I mean, because they're more valuable, they're, you know, more amazing to add to your collection when you stumble across each one, but I also like being able to add something that I like. So, I mean, when I find statues that I like, I honestly don't care if they're limited quantity or if they're um, or if they're actually uh, just mass produced. Uh, just as long as I love the figure and it's something that I can see as being part of my collection. On that note, I have never been a giant fan of some of some of the statues that I've seen out there. Um, they make uh, there's quite a few companies. Oh, bear with me here for just one second, guys. I want to make sure I'm opening this up the right way, which I am. There's quite a few companies out there that make statues, busts, you know, I mean, different kinds of, of uh, replications of the characters from this show or these series of movies. And I, 
I, I like a lot of them. I really, really do. Um, there's a couple that I've never been a fan of. Um, there is a bust of Voldemort with Nagini that is by Nemesis. I've never wanted to add that one to my collection at all. Every time I see it, I just, I don't know, it, it just kind of throws me off. But I saw a close-up spin around of that one the other day. It is now on the list. Now on the list, guys. I mean, it is phenomenal. It's absolutely beautiful. They actually did a really good job. I feel like the advertising for that particular piece did a horrible job because I don't like the photo of the, the actual product, but the in-person, the close-up that I got to see and, and the detail, it's a definite must-have. You, you're going to want to add that one to your collection for sure. So bear with me, guys. I am trying to get this one out. I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing it the right way because it seems like... Um, I need to get this last side. Normally, I can do three sides and just peel the box back. But this one has this has the uh, the record player that appears to be yeah that appears to be holding things up a little bit. So there we go. So there's that. And let's pull Remus Lupin out. There we go. Oh man, he looks so good. Oh. I love this. All right, and let's get the little extra padding they put in here out of the way. And then let's get the top of the record record player in here. There we go. And there we go. And let's see. Oh, oh there's still quite a bit of styrofoam on him. Man, this one clinging all over the place. It's, I'll have to clean this one up a little bit better. And then this goes where? Where does this one? Oh, I see it. It goes right here. Right. Uh, hold on. Man, it's not easy to... There we go. I got it. There we go. Now, I will also tell you that of the other Anesco pieces I have, that have separate little add-on pieces um, to them. Uh, man, I cannot get that piece. There we go. Um, like this. Um, you need to be very careful when handling this one and moving it if it's part of your collection. This piece will fall off. I mean, it will absolutely fall off. It's not in there the greatest, um, which, I mean, do, takes nothing away from the actual stunning value of the, uh, the statue because it is beautiful guys I mean it is absolutely beautiful and before we talk about this let me just get rid of the styrofoam this down here clean off the table a little bit all right and now let's take a look at Remus Lupin now Remus Lupin looks absolutely amazing I love the the oh gosh just the detail of him hand in his pocket his, his suit on, his robes around him, wand in the air, <laughs> pinky out. I absolutely love this. And you can, I mean, you, he's standing by the record player. And you know this scene, guys. You know this scene. I mean, we're, we're dealing with the Boggart, practicing the, um, the uh, Patronus charm, trying to, to get that down. So I absolutely love this. And it is... I'm sorry, I said the Patronus charm because I was thinking of Harry and, and the uh, the Dementor, but we were doing ridiculous, you know? I mean, so I absolutely love this. This this is, I mean, the scars on his face, the smile, his mustache, his hair. I mean, they did such a phenomenal job. And then again, I love the the hardwood planks that, that he's on on top of the cut out concrete and, and everything else. This, this is uh, one of my favorites. I'm going to say that, oh, it falls. Oh, man. Oh, it's so hard. I mean, because I have some great ones. I mean, I've got Hagrid. I've got Dumbledore. I've got, I've got McGonagall. I mean, those are absolutely stunning pieces. And I've got Snape over there as well. 
Oh man, it's so hard. So hard when you have so many great pieces that they've done. But I am going to say that I'm going to put him right in between. I think McGonagall is still my favorite. Uh, Dumbledore is number two. I'm going to have to put him at maybe a number three. Maybe before Haggard, even though Haggard is amazing. I mean, it's so hard, guys. It's so hard when you have such a massive and growing collection. Picking out your favorite piece of one of the series or your favorite piece in your collection. Really, really tough. I did a post on Instagram not that long ago on my top five. And my top five was tough. I mean, it was one of those things where I love so many pieces in my collection that it's hard to pick out five. But guys, you got to let me know your thoughts because honestly, these are both two amazing busts. I absolutely love them both. Um, I mean, I'm going to have to give the win to Remus Lupin. I feel like he is just amazing. I mean, really honestly, in my opinion, the, the, the winner today. But comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Who is your favorite? Why? Because, um, I mean, I, obviously, I mean, everybody loves a, a good Dobby. Dobby's such a small pe part of this particular piece, though, so... Just give me your opinion, guys. I just want to know uh, your thoughts as well because I mean, there's so many more great ones. I really can't wait to share with you the um, the other ones that I got um, because I've got that Tom Riddle and that Harry Potter uh, being chased by the by the Bludger. Looking forward to sharing those as well. And then I've got a brand new line that I saw that I've been actually wanting to add one piece to my collection, uh, but. You know how that goes, guys. It's it, it, You can't just add one piece. If you've got a collection of items out there, i got to complete that collection. So um, Quantum Mechanics. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Um, oh, who is it? It's uh, Hagrid in the motorbike with Harry on the side. I absolutely love that piece. I've wanted it for a long time. Well, I got a good deal on it, so I picked it up. And then I went out and bought the rest of the pieces that go with that collection because... Quantum Mechanics, um, I think, does some really neat pieces as well. They're more cartoony, you know, than uh, than like realistic like these. But I I like that. I mean, I like. I mean, look at my collection. I've got a variety of real and and cartoon and anime and I mean all the different stuff. There's just so many great pieces out there. So, uh, but um, and then on top of that, I didn't know this, but they made some limited edition prints, art prints, for um, for four different movies. And they're all sold out, but they are absolutely amazing, and I want them so bad. When I found them, I'm like, oh, gosh, how did I not know about these? But there's so many things, it's impossible to know everything that's out there. So I rely on you guys. You guys come across something new, something that you've, uh, you've never seen, or something that you know of that's amazing that you've never seen in my collection. Let me know below, please. I've had some great recommendations from people. Have you seen this? Did you know this was out? Have you, you know, added this to your collection? Thank you, because there are some great things that I will, I mean, will not know about until you guys share them with me. So thank you so much for doing that. Uh, but I think, I think that should be it, guys. I mean, there's, there's, what else do you want? I got two amazing statues that we added to the collection today and I'm pretty happy so um so if you've made it this far please do me a favor subscribe if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel because that means so much to me uh, it means I get to grow this channel and may basically maybe someday you know pull back from that muggle job and focus full time on this and do some of the amazing things that I want to share with you guys so they just take up a lot of time and it's hard enough juggling what I'm doing now with my job. So um, click that bell notification. That way you guys get notified every time I post. I am trying to put out more shorts uh, because I seem to be getting a lot of response um, for those shorts. I mean, people seem to really like them. I'm getting a ton of views. Um, there's some great stuff and I've got some great stuff that's uh, rattling around up here that I still want to do that I think would be extremely entertaining. So um, I'm going to put out more shorts. So click that notification so that you get notified. Uh, and then always give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you guys liked what I'm doing here, that you liked this video, that you maybe like these busts, that you're just happy with what's going on here. So 
I, I, I am trying and trying to keep you guys entertained, and uh, sometimes it's not easy, but, um, but it's still fun no matter what. So, and then last but not least, Instagram. Check me out on Instagram because I do a ton of daily things there. Um, every day, uh, I try and put out something. So sometimes it's a little bit more entertaining than uh, some of the stuff I do here because it's short, sweet, to the point. I do a ton of unboxings there when I get little random items that come in the mail. I unbox and kind of show them there. It's not really something that I do here. I do collections here. You know, I do pieces here, stuff like that. When I get like little things like I got the Quidditch ticket the other day for uh, the metal Quidditch ticket from Amazon. Came in the other day, shared that on on the um, on Instagram, and I mean people like that. So um, so check me out on Instagram because again, there's more content, more stuff that you might enjoy over there as well. Um, and then I think that pretty much gets it all wrapped up here, guys. So thank you so much for joining me for another magical video. And until next time, all you wizards and muggles alike, keep it magical.